Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It is a Thursday morning. Thank you so much for joining us. And we are cooking up a storm in the kitchen. Now, if you think that cooking with coffee is only meant for sweet dishes, well, think again. We've got a treat for you this morning. Claire Swanson from, from Willies is here to chat to us about coffee. And uh, she's going to be showing us how to make the perfect cup first of all and then share a very surprising recipe that everyone out there who loves coffee certainly should try. Claire, good to have you Thank here you with so us. Thank you so much. I thought I knew how to make coffee. What do you mean? <laughs> are, are there rules to making the perfect cup of coffee? I think there are a couple of rules you want to stick to. But okay. really, coffee is a personal luxury, so you need to do whatever you like. Um, for me, if you bring a cup, cup of coffee at home, yes. there's sort of three things you've got to remember. It is to have freshly uh, ground beans. Yes. If you can even ground it on the day you're going to brew it, or ah. when you bring it, that's even better. Mm. Fresh water, 92 to about 96 degrees, the perfect one to get the most extraction out of your coffee. And obviously, a clean vessel or working with clean equipment. And then just fancy equipment <laughs> fancy like that. Equipment. That is okay. the way I want to drink my coffee so in the morning. You can do a plunger, you can do a stove, stuff, lots of different apparatus. At yes. the moment, I'm kind of in love with the Chemex, oh, which is this just this vessel that you use as a pour over style. Yes. Um, a lot of people also don't understand when you want a strong cup of coffee, yes. you just add more coffee to your water ratio. It's okay, not about yes. necessarily the variety of bean. Oh, Right, so right. we're using a Colombian. Mm -hmm. It's a single estate coffee or single origin. Oh, is it, what, what does that mean? So single estate just means that the coffee itself comes from one geographical area. Okay, so all perhaps right. from Colombia, sometimes it's down to the very farm. Yes. And that just means you can trace the coffee and you can get a single, you can get really better notes of flavour just from one as opposed to a blend. Because the beans have all absorbed the same minerals yeah. from the ground yeah, so you in can the making. get specific okay, flavour. All right. So I'm using this fancy kettle. Our water's nicely boiled. We're going to pour a little bit over the filter. Just to wet the filter and this little step okay, here. You've got to wet it a little bit as well. It's called the bloom. So you're just wanting the water or the coffee just to get a little bit moist. Mm -hmm. And then you start carry on pouring about 200 moles for get one cup. Get your coffee terminology updated right <laughs> now. The bloom. <laughs> Make sure the, the filter gets nice and wet. And then you'll just see the coffee starting oh. to percolate down the bottom. That just looks amazing. It looks like a science experiment that's about to be very successful. <laughs> and what I like about the Chemex, when you do it this way, you're actually extracting a little bit more of the acidity and you get more of the sweet sort of floral notes out of a mm, cup of coffee. Brilliant. So that'll go for about three minutes and you'll take that out and you'll have the perfect cup of coffee poured. Lovely. Also what's important is the grind size of your coffee. So depending on the apparatus, yes. certain grinds are going to percolate better. So in the Chemex, for instance, you want a medium. Um, but if you want to use, if you've got a French press, you want a really coarsely ground coffee. Yes. Um, and I brought some green beans, even to show you um, some of our Arabica coffee beans. Okay. Um, now, while we, we are talking all things coffee, I'm very excited to see this recipe that right. you've brought along with you. So let's cross on over uh, across the kitchen there. And uh, we're cooking with coffee. And usually we know coffee to be combined with things like chocolates and sweet. mousses yeah. and sweet things. But what are you making here? This is very interesting. So, yeah, I'm using the same sort of Colombian um, brewed coffee. So I took some of my brewed coffee on the side. Yeah. And in the pan, we've got some chipotle bacon. Chipotle, it's a very popular word these yeah. days, isn't it? Chipotle, what does chipotle it mean? Chipotle essentially is just a smoked, dried jalapeno chili. Okay. So you're going to get more sort of a level of flavour and smoky works great in this sort Alrighty. of recipe. So just let me know where I can help because I'm very willing to help. You sure. just need to let so me know. So we're going to do and add these ingredients. We've okay. already rendered down our bacon so it's nice and crispy. Let's add some onion. Red onion going in there. Let's have this. There we go. One chopped onion. One we're then full gonna, one? Yeah. Okay. About a teaspoon of garlic into okay. that as well. I'm going to use... Okay, here's a teaspoon right over here. Perfect. The more garlic, the merrier I always say. Exactly. Oh, beautiful. So this is a relish. It's just going to sort of moisten your bread and give Excellent. you an awesome flavour. Mm -hmm. Into that, about a two tablespoons of brown sugar. I'll measure that out as four it. teaspoons. Yeah. Is that all right? That's perfect. Okay. One, two, uh, three, and that's about two yep. tablespoons worth of sugar. Then the important ingredient, we're going to put in some coffee. So I'm okay. going to pour in about two tablespoons worth of the coffee in that. And that savoury, sort of fruity coffee is going to just... Bring down it really infuse itself into that. Oh wow! A that's bit of vinegar. Bacon. Yes. Um, that's okay. going to give you that sort of relish uh, flavor. A little bit of acidity in there. Cuts through the fat. Mm -hmm. That goes in. And you want to let this cook for about 20 minutes. Yeah. Just until that gets a nice sticky consistency. Mm -hmm. Let it cool, and then we're going to make our sandwich. So we're doing we a BLT, bacon, BLT. lettuce, tomato. Okay. We're just going to amp the Definitely flavor. The, the fancier version of a regular <laughs> BLT. You at home can SMS the keyword JAM to 33728 and we'll send you the key or of course the link to the recipe and the ingredients so that you can make your own delicious relish like this and when you make your BLT at home it can be spiced up beautifully with lovely coffee flavors. So I'm doing a little bit of mayonnaise. Fancy. And then some mustard, Dijon. And then we've got and our then... bacon jam. Have a look at that. I mean, it's like sticky, gooey, full can you, of amazing. Can you, after you've made this, store it 
and, and you know, yeah. use it over a couple of days? Uh, definitely for about two to three weeks in the oh, fridge. even better. Um, sealed, and then you could just use it and spread it on sandwiches, on burgers, on pizzas, that, whatever you oh, like. But yes. it's like extra flavor. I'm taking my cheese. So I've okay. got some sliced cheddar. Beautiful. That's going to go on top of that. We'll add about two slices to each. Are you, are you like me that in the beginning you make the, the BLT, right? Yeah. And it looks amazing. Yeah. Just <laughs> picturesque, but when you have to eat it, you've got to smash it all together and get it into your <laughs> mouth as you quickly best, as possible. The best flavors when you just kind of whack <laughs> all those ingredients together, make sure you press. I'm going to add that looks great. an extra couple of slices there for you. Lastly, some tomato for some freshness. You were talking about the 100% the, uh, the Arabica beans. Yes. Right? What, what does that mean? Um, so Arabica really is sort of the variety of coffee, um, similar to Shiraz, it makes Shiraz sort of, sort of wine. Yes. Arabica is the most commercially produced type of coffee bean, ah. um, usually has lower heels, has a really intense sort of flavour quality, less espresso or less uh, caffeine than mm -hmm. Robusta, mm -hmm. um, but it is the sort of the most preferred variety used in sort of coffee making. Yeah, so but like you said, uh, coffee is a personal luxury, yeah. so whatever you're going to be infusing your own relish with, then go ahead and enjoy that coffee. So SMS yeah. JAM to 33728 and we'll send you what you need in order to make it at home. Uh, in fact, here's a quick little recap of how to make this very delicious relish. And then if you like, you can even stack it up like that. See how, see if you can fit all of that into your mouth. <laughs> it's the Mr. <laughs> Keyword Jam to 33728 and you can make your own beautiful, lovely BLT. That's about to be breakfast right now. Good. Claire, awesome. thank you You're very, welcome. very much. Sorry. Bon appétit. Oh.